guys, it's Teely here. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and give me a comment down below with any questions that you might have for my future Q&As. And today's video is going to be the 20 things that I wish I knew before I went to college. I'll tell you guys, college is way different than some people make it out to be. Some people are like, ooh, parties or frat parties or... I need to sleep in all day you know there are some days like that but that's not everything that you really need to know about college so without further ado let's get right into the video the first thing that I want to tell you guys is it's okay to stand out you don't have to fit in with everybody and you know know everything about everybody because you're not really gonna be like everybody else. There are actually a lot of different types of people that go to college, you know, all different ethnicities or all different ways of taking notes or study habits, dressing to school. Like some people come to college all high class and professional. Some people look like they don't go to a party. Some people look like they just went out of bed. And then there's people like me in this video where, you know, you have a little funky little, little side bun your spirit wear some jeans and boots and that's okay because you're the one going to college and getting your degree so you get to stand out however you want because you know this is your college experience don't waste um printer ink and printer paper if you can be saving it now if you're that person that likes to take notes on paper and everything that's all fine and well but i'm gonna give you guys a tip that's gonna save you guys so much money especially for those classes where they have labs and lectures or you have to like take notes on every single slide or something digitize your notes so i take all of my notes on my surface pro 2 through OneNote and or Microsoft Word because you know you can get a stylus and just write your notes on there and after I write them all I actually come home and I type them that way they're all neat and I can highlight on my powerpoints I can highlight in textbooks for my ebooks you can do so much by digitizing your notes and then only having to also carry around just your Surface Pro in your backpack compared to six or seven textbooks and all the notebooks go along with those subjects so digitizing your notes is very helpful. I wish I had known before. And the only way I found out is because I was there, you know, with my big binder in Anatomy and Physiology. And I saw a girl next to me, like, taking notes on her on her iPad. And I was like, how do you do that? And she's like, what do you mean? And I was like, you're taking all your notes on your iPad. And she showed me apps. And I was like, wait, I don't have a iPad. But I looked at one note on my Surface Pro. And I'm going to be doing a video showing you guys how I take my notes, what they look like, and everything like that. So that was a huge thing that I learned and I wish I knew before college that I didn't waste all that paper on printing powerpoints and writing all those notes and hurting my hands and everything like that. The third thing that I learned really quickly was to take as many online classes as I could. And this is because most classes on campus begin at an hour and 20 minutes but if you're there for classes back to back to back to back all that time adds up and then takes away from things you could be doing at your house so i started taking like a lot of online classes so, like this summer in summer one semester i am taking five online classes and i know it's a lot it seems like a lot but online classes are actually, to me, easier and I can work at like my own pace. I can get ahead of the game and then I can, you know, make it work with my schedule. Okay, the fourth tip I learned like in the snap of a finger when I went to the first class is to not take your hardest class first. The thing that I found out was I needed, I needed to make time for myself and I think I mentioned this in my five tips or five things freshman year taught me um I learned that I wasn't paying attention to myself there were even days that I actually didn't realize I hadn't eaten anything until about eight o'clock at night or you know those days where I only had caffeine in my system and I was wondering why I felt so sick so it's important to take a moment for yourself and just realize everything is gonna be okay if I just take you know 15-20 minutes for myself or maybe 
one night don't do any store but just didn't watch a movie with your family something simple like that just to kind of give your body and brain a moment to relax and chill out for a bit this next one is something that I actually wish I would have known it's like a things I wish I had known and then like things that freshman year taught me it's like a combined thing the tips that you learn to study in high school may not work in college it's I feel like the tips that you know high school students are taught and everything are very minor compared to college because you, know, you can color code you can learn how to memorize everything but in college you can't just memorize like they you're given certain scenarios or different things will happen you have to be able to put forth your knowledge to get the answer so I still haven't even perfected my studying techniques for college. Putting the time in is something big that I found out as well because I was like, oh, okay, you know, I'm taking these classes and whatever. But that 16 weeks goes by so fast. I would like be looking at the calendar, I'm like, we're halfway through the semester. Are you kidding me? And I didn't have anything in late, but, you know, I got stuff done so fast. I was looking at the calendar, I was like, this, this is really fast. So you want to put the time in to actually do your store, but you also want to put the time in to take care of yourself and to make sure that you're going to be successful throughout your college career and then moving on to your other career options. You Staying fit is difficult, but it's manageable. And the only reason why I say that is because for my degree in particular, I had to take three physical education courses so I took cardio kickboxing one and two and that was you know one day a week but we worked out for three hours and then like this summer I'm taking swimming one which is four out of seven days out of the week for like I think it's two hours and so it's not impossible especially if you can take it while you're in college but it's important because you know I found that when you work out and everything for some reason I just am able to memorize better and study better knowing that I feel good eat filling but light meals is big because you know for me I'm a very hungry person I get hungry very quickly so before class I try to have a small but filling meal but also something something that's not gonna sit heavy in my stomach so that I can actually get through my class without thinking about me being hungry. Don't be intimidated is kind of the same as, you know, don't be afraid to stand out, but it's still somewhat different. So I think I mentioned in my freshman year college video that being intimidated isn't really worth it, I guess, because everyone's there for the same reason. You know, you all are students, no one's better than anyone else, especially if you guys are in the same class or someone's taking the class like two or three times and maybe you're in there for your first time. You know, everyone is getting through college, whether, you know, they're only taking one class a semester or two classes or they've been trying to get their associate's degree for five years, you know. Don't be intimidated by everyone else because you don't know what's going on in everyone else's life. The next one is something that I learned but also a pro tip for you guys and that is home is not the best place to do your studying because you know you're comfortable at home, your bed's at home, and you'll be like, oh, I can just go, you know, study in my bed. Five minutes later, you're passed out and it's six o'clock at night and you're like, oh my gosh, what'd I do? So I would... I started going to the library at CTC for like group projects and stuff and I occasionally go sit at Starbucks to do my storework and you would be amazed by the comparison of how, of how much work I get done at home and at Starbucks. It's a crazy difference. It's insane. And also I don't feel as stressed when I go out of the house to study because there's no stress by. I can sit, drink some Starbucks and just do my storework. So the next thing is something that I actually learned in high school because like my body crashed so caffeine is not always the answer. I have actually been struggling with you know the intake of caffeine for a while so I think I started my junior year. I was in several you know school organizations and I always did my best to be there for everyone at the same time every day and 
the same thing in college but with college it's my schoolwork and it's my workload and I try to stay awake and everything I I drank so much caffeine and my body crashed and I wonder why I was always getting sick or nauseous or everything so manage the caffeine intake you know if you have one cup in the morning like have that one cup be like the straight coffee but if you need something throughout the day like a pick me up like go get a Starbucks refresher or you know a cold ball of water or something healthier or something that doesn't have as much caffeine as the one dose you took in the morning the next one is kind of a no-brainer every school uh tells us this every school is like okay you have to show up to class if you don't miss two classes you're gonna fail and some classes that is the case like for me my a and p class anatomy and physiology um if you miss two classes you basically missed two whole units like it's actually that serious so even if you're feeling like crap that day you know bring your little aloe tissue some water cough drops everything like that just take it to class go to class your pjs messy bun you know nobody cares i have seen so many people come to ctc you know hacking like they got bronchitis and you know they're in their pjs or whatever you know a little bit questionable but they're there and you know they're not letting that hinder their progress so it's important and even if you go to class and bring a sound recorder and you just like record the whole lecture and you fall asleep or something at least you have that on your recorder and you can go back and listen to the lesson and like i said these are pro tips that i learned and things that i wish i knew before i went to college because i had no idea my first semester i actually missed quite a bit and that's part of the reason why i ended up dropping my hardest class because I wasn't there don't be afraid to ask for help this is big because you know you think oh I'm an adult I should be able to handle this by myself that's not always the case especially in college because your professors are there to help you and you know my professors were there to help me use your resources this one oh I am I was so mixed up about this one because we had a freshman orientation uh, last August. It was like the week before school started. We were, you know, brought to the place where there was tutoring. And I asked if there was tutoring for anatomy and physiology or anything in the kinesiology department. They were like, um, we don't have anything for that yet. And I was like, that's one of the hardest classes and degrees on campus. And you're telling me you have nothing. So that was a little bit of a downer. But tutoring and the resources that the school offers you to be able to get help is big. This is important and it took me a while to realize this because, you know, I got, like I said, I got intimidated and I didn't know what all was, you know, going on. Everyone is in the same boat as you. Everyone's in the same boat as me. So there, there is no, you know popular kids or those little clicks and stuff like you may have your groups in college but that's like for lunch you know there's mixed perceptions on it but everyone is in the same boat everyone's there to get their associate's degree everyone's there to pass the class everyone is there to earn their education it's all the same all across the board there is nothing special about anyone else you all are there for the same reason so don't let me, don't let anyone make you feel inferior for that and don't think that there's anything different because honestly everyone is there for the same reason oh this one this one got me so age doesn't matter see so here where i go to college there are people that look you know old enough to be my grandfather or to be my father or you know my mother grandmother sometimes great grandmother and then there's people like me coming fresh out of high school and you know i go in there and i get funky looks because honestly let's be real i don't look 20 years old i was actually told just a couple weeks ago that i look like i'm a college freshman or sophomore and then some people think that i'm like 15 or 16 years old and i'm like you know what i'm gonna let that one slide <laughs> i guess i must have some good genes or something but 
you know, you're gonna get looks if you look young. Or if you look older, some people, you know, for the get to know me parts of some classes, they're gonna ask you, you know, hey, how old are you? Another thing that I wish I had known before college was to try to stay ahead of the game instead of always being like making it at the deadlines. Because if if I would have stayed more ahead, I would have had more time for other things in my life instead of like stressing like, oh my gosh, I have to get this all done. I have to this paper submitted by midnight. Oh my goodness. Ah. So you will have like a big breakdown if you, if you wait until last minute. So tip coming from me and my experience, try to always stay ahead of the game instead of right at the deadline. So. Per me wearing this shirt for this video, this is probably a little funky tip. It's worked for me. Um, but get some school spirit wear, like college spirit wear, even if you're just going to a community college, because you feel like you're actually part of the school when you wear something like spirit wear, and that's actually really important um for yourself because you know you own it own your education own where you're going and show it off you don't have to just wear it to see well okay i wear my stuff to ctc all the time but you don't have to wear it just at your college you can wear it all over the place i'll even wear this for pjs you know own it own where you're getting your education own the college you're going to i'm a central Texas college eagle and i'm not even afraid to admit it and the last thing that I kind of learned before and after I began college, this one's like a, a mixture, is to use your financial aid to the best of your ability. And I'm saying this because, guys, I am getting my whole associate's degree from financial aid. And that's because I'm going to a community college to where that actually works. And I actually have extra out of my disbursements, which I get to use to pay up for myself or to buy my family Christmas gifts or to buy birthday gifts and things like that. So use it to the best of your abilities because I'm able to pay for um, my classes, whether they're online or on campus, textbooks, school supplies, and spirit wear, and then still have extra. Like, that's awesome. So when you get that extra money, pamper yourself. Like I said, take time to take care of yourself and do something for yourself after all the hard work that you put in throughout these college years. Because let me tell you guys, college flies by. The time is gone before you even know it. So everything that I wish that I knew before college, I hope that this helps you guys if you're going into your freshman years of college or you've been in college and you're like, oh my gosh, I feel the same way or that happened to me, you know, Take this all into account and try to plan ahead of time so you guys can better your college semesters. But let me tell you, I'm listening to some of these tips when I start my fall semester. Just saying. That is the end of today's video. I hope that you guys liked it and found it helpful. Feel free to leave any questions down below in the comments and let me know which one of these tips that you connect with the most and what you're going to work on in your first or your next semester of college. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And also turn on the notification bell so that you will never miss a video revolving around health, beauty, and lifestyle. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video.